In this presentation, we're going to go over the solution to the using the concatenate function exercise. I have the functions workbook open here to the concatenate tab. And then the first step, I'm going to, in column C, join the first and last names that appear in columns A and B to create a full name with a space in between. So I'm going to click in cell C2 and select the formulas tab. Click insert function, I'm going to search for concatenate. I'm going to select it and click OK. In text one, I need the first name to appear, so I'm going to select cell A2. Text two, I need to add my space, so I'm going to type quotation mark, space, and closing quotation mark. And in text three, I'm going to click in the last name field here, cell B2, and click OK. And now you'll see my full name appears here in cell C2. Now I can copy my function down this column by clicking and dragging here, and there are all my full names. In step two, I'm going to, in column G, join the city and states listed in columns E and F with a comma and space in between. So I'm going to click in cell G2, select insert function, select concatenate, and click OK. For text one, we're using cell E2. Text two, we need to add the comma and space, so I'm going to type quotation mark, comma, space, closing quotation mark, and in text three, we're going to click in row F2 to select the state and click OK. Now you'll see I have Syracuse comma space New York here, and I can copy this function down my column as well by clicking and dragging. Coming up next, you'll learn how to use the transpose function in Excel.